Now I've turned the board around and there's some things that uh, had to be put on here. The uh, dust collector will come down through here and then it will go through the um, washer scrubber and some other things that will go along here and I just got to remember which ones go to which furnaces here, okay? So that's what I'll be doing here and the thing is, is to mock it up. And then after I mock it up, I'll send it out to paint, powder, coat, or chrome. Not really. But that's what we're always talking about on Orange County Choppers. And then right in between here will be the high line and that's where the raw materials will get put up into the uh, into the furnace. And then thinking about the situation, I've got to make another cast house because uh, the uh, Marissa furnace here and the Kristen furnace here shared a common cast house. So I had eight furnaces and seven cast houses. So this is uh, something I'm going to have to do. This is the hot blast manifold here. And this is actually bringing the hot blast up into the furnace over here. That's what that is. And then this up here, that's an explosion valve. They have anywhere from one to three of those, maybe four, depending on the design of the furnace. So, that's what I'll be doing in this segment here, and that'll give me an idea with this mock-up exactly how I'm going to lay out the other four furnaces, which you can see right over there. That's the uh, Lydia furnace, which is uh, Youngstown sheet and tube, and then that there over to the right of that is the uh, U.S. Steel carry furnaces which supplied uh, pig iron to the homestead works and of which they only have two blast furnaces that are working uh, no looks gotta think here a minute um, alright now that I got my train I've just information overload on this thing so actually uh, US Steel has the um, Edgar Thompson works that has the uh, two remaining blast furnaces that's over there in the Pittsburgh area. This was over here, uh, the Lydia furnace, um, which is the Jeanette furnace YS of T that was in Youngstown, Ohio. And then we're going to zip on over here. And I'll get a close-up of that. And this is the prototype of uh, a representation of Weirton Steel. And that is the Elena Furnace, as I recall. So, I got my work cut out for me here. And uh, I just give you some more how-to type of things on here. And actually, once I get... Once I get the dust collectors and, and the uh, gas scrubbers, etc., put on the back side here and get the high line up, then that will basically uh, complete that back bank of furnaces here. And there'll be no sense of me telling you how to um, do the rest of the bank of furnaces. However, I may uh, show you how to make the, the cast house. Okay, now I started to add the other equipment onto here. And I will try to explain this to you what these things do. So, the spent gases, carbon monoxide, comes up these uptake tubes over here. And then it goes, goes down this down tube. And then from there it goes into the dust collectors. 
and then from here it goes into the gas cleaner scrubber or therefore washer and then from there it goes over into the stove two of these are on gas and two are on blast and the ones that are on gas the carbon monoxide gets burnt as a fuel which raises the temperature up to 1600 to 2300 degrees depending on the design of the stoves and in the meantime there will be a, a blast of cold air which comes in picks up the 2300 degree Fahrenheit or 1900 degree Celsius heat from there and it goes through this pipe here you can't hardly see it right over here and then it goes into the furnace which uh, gives up more oxygen than uh, what would normally be if you just had a pile of coke burning and this here is uh, a flaring uh, power there where the uh, flammable gases that uh, they can't use rather than dump it in the atmosphere they, they burn it and this is an explosion valve up here all blast furnaces have that just in case the pressure gets too great it's, it's supposed to stop the furnace from uh, from blowing up and then this here is the uh, the slide for the uh, skip hoist hopper or the bell hopper and uh, I'll add that a little bit but anyway that's what these things do this here is just a vent stack which comes out and so the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that all the other furnaces have something similar okay the uh, original gas cleaners and scrubbers I did not care for the looks of them too much and I happen to have these laid around the house this is uh, inch and a half I think it is or inch and a quarter let me see what it is here inch and a half CPVC and so I'm going to line these up along here and there's there's going to be this is the other one this is the other one so I'll take and cut these I'm going to put a top on top of here and I cut that out of this cardboard and I'm going to do that to the rest of these okay now here's what happens here the gases come up to the uptake tube down to down the down tube here and then to the dust collectors and then it goes over here into the gas scrubbers and then over here into the intercooler and then into here and then what I will do I will continue you can't see it but this pipe back over here I will curve that around and have it fit up into here okay and that uh, that should make the piping realistic and when this is all dry I will uh, make sure that uh, I, I paint it properly and everything these stacks here I don't know what they're some kind of vent stacks I've seen those there I kind of like the looks of them whether or not they actually went on these furnaces or not I really don't know but uh, we'll just continue uh, doing uh, what I have to on the uh, remaining furnaces on this bank which would be this one here the the uh, Donna's furnace and the Adnea furnace so this is the Adnea furnace the Donna's furnace this is the Donna's furnace here and this is the Marissa furnace and this is the Kristen furnace